My name is Mats Alamshak and I will talk about great data quality is the shit in this session. I started as a mathematics physics teacher back in the 90s and um, I noticed uh, a new phenomenon internet 96 and I thought I have to work with this kind of thing and I got a job as a BI analytic guy at the software company here on Orland Island. Orland Island uh, is a small island self-independent between Finland and Sweden it's about 30,000 people living there. Anyway, uh, after a while, we developed also CMS, content management system solutions for web uh, companies. And uh, I started to be the sales reps at the same time I was an analytic guy. 2009, I started to saw the new phenomena, social media like Facebook and LinkedIn and so on. And I started to investigate it more deeply and um, pretty fast I understand this is will be the new thing to to change the world one or another so I gradually get over to marketing more and more 2011 I started to work at uh, the official gambling company here in Northern Ireland we give all the profit to charity or to good causes and the last four years I started to work as a data scientist because I had to prove that the acquisition campaigns I was with in the team and created were profitable or not and there were no really good way to, to measuring but first I would say you have to really understand the difference between knowledge and versus wisdom. It was a British journalist who said that knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit and wisdom is knowing not to put it into a fruit salad. And I think this is really the case that very many people are analyzing but not really. They are reading the numbers and not putting it into the content or the context more. So it's very important to understand the whole picture. And it was my kingdom who told this. To be able to see how good different campaigns were converting, I needed to have some kind of a system with tracking points. So I developed a customer journey with uh, earlier start than maybe the most other one has using. So for example, search, organic search. A suspect is a person who can use Google search in Finland, for example. And target group in this case is everybody who are interesting for our business. In our case, if they are over 18 years old. How many of these are searching for game related topics and how many of these are actually clicking through and coming to our web page then you have a pretty obvious tracking points of this but it could also be that you have uh, friends partners bloggers who are writing about your stuff and end up in the search engine so if a people a person come to this uh, external landing page and then click through. They are also sort of measured in this customer journey system. And you can do this with paid search and of course paid social with Facebook and so on, etc. Or display. When they are coming to our web page, they become a prospect. And a prospect is a person who have never ever visit our web page before. Of course, if they don't have clicked off the cookie, they will be considered to be a, a prospect. But anyway, it's good enough. Lead will there be if they not are bouncing directly from the web page. So they're doing something more than read the landing page. The next step is marketing qualified lead. And that means in this sense, 
they are sending the registration. If they are accepting the registration, they are sales qualified lead. In our case, they are accepting with the email conversion. conversion. Opportunity is when they are making the first deposit and they become a customer first when they have done a real game with real money. So this is the customer journey and you have either 10 steps or 12 steps. So this is the data conversion touch points or conversion funnel. But how to implant it? Because it's not obvious if you don't have the data correct, it will not succeed. So I noticed the data was not correct, even I had the model. So I started a follow-up meeting once a month. It's called Poor to Great. And there are all the stakeholders in the path. It's CEO, CMO, CTO, etc. Usually it takes 30 minutes and I go through three different head topics. Page speed are one really crucial subject. I will go through deeper in just a minute. Then CEO is important and data quality. These are the three main topics I have used all these years. Page speed. We are using Google's Lighthouse to track. And it was Google who said three years ago that if it takes more than three seconds, 50% aborted journey. And if it takes four seconds, of course, the number are increasing. And when many companies are developed in fast environment, they are usually forget that there are places with their, which the page speed or the internet speed is not that high. To prove my case or test how it looks in our case, I looked in the Spanish market. So I checked how many people are clicking on a banner, in this case, Facebook banner, and how many of these actually come to the web page. And I also tested with display advertising, and it was the same result. Only 10% of the people who clicked actually came to the web page. So that means if you have a conversion rate in 2%, it's really high in that sense because you are losing 90% even they are coming to the web page. But of course, the, the guys who still wait after 10 seconds or whatever, they are really eager to become a customer. But it was really obvious case when I show it to the CEO that if we lose 90% of the people that we actually pay and they get the experience that is lousy, it's only white, then of course they will never ever coming back. So it's an important task to get the page speed fast. And here is some of the metrics we are using. We are checking it every two hours with our own web page and some competitors in the different markets. This is an example of how it looks four years ago on an easy landing page. So it takes more than three seconds and there you get. So it take almost five seconds before you see anything. And this is what we did. We did a fast landing page that after two seconds had something after four seconds, it was totally done. And that means that uh, you have over 4,000% more registration with the fast landing page. That was three, four years ago. So how to improve this? Uh, at every meeting, I had some different bucket list, eliminating random blocking JavaScript and CSS, very important issue because some services are stopping every other thing before they are done. Leverage browser caching, of course important. And this is pretty simple thing. Always optimize the images from the copy and design teams or whatever. So you have not necessary big pictures. Prioritize invisible content, of course, that's 
the important stuff showing early not in the end see the end solution is very important if you have different markets so you can get fast connections on every place lazy loading so you can show for the customer an early maybe uh, easy picture and it will get better and better after the loading is done so these are five bucket lists things we have used CEO then yeah if the page is loading slowly then Google ranks it will drop so it's very very important for when that perspective that your site load very fast if you can uh, also uh, have a good hygiene so it will be easier for Google search also to see and if you build it logical it probably will be user friendly also the last of the three different topics are data quality machine learning has been really really the head topic for a couple of years now but it's risky business because usually we say shit in shit out but in this case shit in shit hit the fan because uh, error will usually escalate of, over time one big issue we had in the beginning was cross device many of our prospect made the registration in a desktop and then we sent out the email confirmation mail and of course it was beep in your pocket at your mobile so you open the mobile and then you lose the track of the people who have made the registration so the most common registration channel if you get down deeper in the customer journey was email and that was of course wrong but of course they could come from Facebook or wherever example how it could go really wrong with machine learning was the Facebook segment in Spain it was maybe three years ago we have started to use Facebook advertising in Spain and at that time the customer journey was the conversion point was if we could get people to the website that was enough so they started a campaign and uh, pretty soon they find the segment older ladies 60 plus came to the betting page they came to the betting page but they bounced away directly because it was not their thing but the algorithm notified this segment and they put some more money on it and the next time it came even more women 60 plus to the betting page and when i started to look at it, it the half of the budget was actually going for 60 plus women to the betting page it could be perfect but of course it was really stupid so this is what i mean with you have to use machine learning absolutely but you have to understand what you're doing with your wisdom not knowledge Another mysterious thing that was uh, when I was starting to look back in the time we had about 40-50 people every day coming from the banks and become a customer. And that was really strange because we didn't have any agreement with the banks or special offer or banners on their page. So how did it happen that we have 50 customers coming from the banks every day after a couple of months I understand it was actually people thinking they were our existing customers who did this they came to our web page put the username and the password of course they didn't came into the system because it was not right password when they were not a customer but we giving the the universal answer that you have wrong username or password but you can check your password with your bank 
So they click on the bank and the bank checking in and controlling and then they send it them back to our web page and we say hey you are not a customer but don't, do you want to be so they click because they wanted to be a customer and ba -bam, then you have a lot of people coming from the banks and becoming a new customer because the last referral was actually the bank web page so key factors It's much harder if you don't have a web shop to understand how good quality of the customer, because what I have shown now is not the quality of the customers, only where they're coming from. So the next step was to actually connect the traffic where they came from and when they become a customer. Or this is really, really important, of course, when you want to have lookalike groups and how it works so what we did was connecting the google client id with a, a specific external player id in our case it's a anonymous external player id that we are connecting in google and then we have the campaign id and together we get a really good tracking of all the people who is coming and the result is looking like this. Before we connected with external player ID and the cross device was sort of fixed and so on, we had a lot of gray area where we don't, didn't know where they were coming from. But this is the result afterwards. So we have, of course, some direct traffic still and we have, but you see the most of the traffic are now defined where they're coming from from the registration point of view so thanks for listening and if you want to add me on linkedin go ahead thank you and take care in this covid19 times